Hi, I'm Dory, and today I am sharing an abstract painting that I did for my mom. Her birthday was recent, and uh, the thing that she asked me for specifically was a caduceus, which is the medical symbol of the two snakes with the rod and the wings. She wanted that drawn over top of uh, a abstract painting. She really loves the uh, typical abstract style that I do. She's got several of my abstracts hanging in her home. She really likes the bright colors and things like that. And she had this idea, you know, because she was a nurse for a very, very long time. A huge chunk of her life was dedicated to nursing. She kind of wanted to honor that and, and kind of fuse it together symbolically with um, my art. So she asked me to do this. She kind of wanted me to use greens and blues and pinks, colors that you typically see nurses wearing, uh, like scrub colors. <laughs> and she wanted me to use those in a um, an abstract picture. She wanted the bubbles and the bars and the blendy colors and uh, all that, the splatter. And she wanted the caduceus over top of it. So I basically, I, I guess I cheated a little bit. What I did was I found a caduceus um, thumbnail or, or clip art online. I printed it up and I kind of transferred it onto the canvas beforehand so that I would have, you know, um, something to go from. Then I went ahead and I painted the abstract just on top of it. Um, and for the most part, it was able, you know, it stayed, the paints were fairly translucent. You could see through them, the very pale yellows and things like that. And um, at the end, I just went back in and with my markers and I drew out the caduceus. I used a little bit of white and a little bit of gray and I uh, tried to give it some dimension, some shadow, so it looks a little bit like raised up. And I also wanted it to look transparent so you could see some of the um, abstract effect behind it. So I kind of wanted it to just look frosty and transparent. So <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job with the effect overall. Um, my mom really liked it. Uh, I'm glad that she was satisfied with it. Um, it is an unusual bit of uh, c concept, but I did do something very, very similar um, a while ago. My, um, my brother is doctor, and I did something um, very, very similar where I did some bleedy, blendy watercolors, um, blues and greens and purples, and, um, you know, put the caduceus over top of that. So I've done something very conceptually very similar, um, and I gave that to my brother as a Christmas gift a while ago, so. Uh, it wasn't, like, completely <laughs> an original idea, but my mom, she she really wanted this, and she, it meant a lot to her, so uh, I was happy to do it. I really... I enjoy doing the abstracts. Um, I feel very, very free when I do them. It's um, therapeutic in a way. Uh, when I'm doing uh, something like realism, something like that, it's it takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of energy. Uh, it's it's more laborious. Um, whereas doing an abstract, I feel just creatively free. I can just let go, just do whatever I want. And if it looks, you know, bad, then oh well. <laughs> I can always paint over and I'm good. So um, I feel um, very free and it, it, it's um, emotionally uh, relaxing. It is uh, something that does it. I don't have to focus. I don't have to concentrate. I'm not replicating anything. I'm just letting um, my feelings flow into colors and, and shapes and I love that. So I know a lot of people don't necessarily like abstract art and um, I think that you are more likely to enjoy abstract if you appreciate the process of creating it. If um, you actually create abstract art, you might be more of a fan. Um, I, I think that people that strive to give art form, you know, to give it form and to give it you know, character and, you know, and things like that. And they, they, they really, really feel like the um, ultimate achievement in art is um, being able to replicate an image. I feel like they might not appreciate or, or not, ne not necessarily appreciate, but they might not necessarily um, 
gravitate towards abstract and what it can be. But for me, it's it's uh, extremely, extremely freeing and one of my favorite things to do, honestly. I really do love creating it. Um, I really wish that it was more popular as far as sale, sales go, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, for, I really do, um, uh, I create it for myself. Abstract is something that I do for me. Uh, and, and that's important. It is really important as an artist to create for yourself sometimes. Uh, when you're doing commissions, you're doing, um, you're creating other people's concepts or you're creating a portrait of someone else's, you know, relative or something like that. Or, you know, when, re when you're, even when you're just doing realism, which is obviously something else that I do, um, when you're just, when you're working on that, it, it's, you're more, it's more about honoring the subject. Um, whereas abstract for me, it's honoring myself. And I think having that balance in my artistic style and being able to do multiple different styles, it's, it's huge for me. It's very important. And in that way, I think abstract has a very, very uh, good place. <laughs> it's, a, it's an important thing. Um, so I guess my question to you guys is, what kind of art do you find the most therapeutic? Do you um, feel most free creating a specific thing or a, a specific subject? Or do you like to just let everything fly like I do? <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you have any questions about um, my style or anything like that, do feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer questions. Um, I've been working on developing this particular abstract style for, oh my gosh, like 10 years. <laughs> it might not necessarily seem that way, but what you're seeing now is the evolution, the result of a lot of years of evolution, trying and, you know, doing different things uh, with color and shape. So this is where I'm at right now, what I enjoy doing right now. And um, it works for me, so. <laughs> Uh, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I will see you next time. Bye.